Hey guys, quick no intro. So this is how you join our family here and this is how you do it. If you want to do it, check it out. Also, we're on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace. Assalamu alaikum everyone Welcome back to another episode of Make it halal Make it halal I am Sheikha and this is my husband Muhammad A.K.A. Steph Fitness yeah. A.K.A. Steph Champ yes. He now has his own YouTube and, and, Instagram. and Instagram And today oh, something really exciting Happened on your Instagram today yeah. He put out a picture with himself And Peter Quayley mm -hmm. Is that his name? Yes. I remembered oh my goodness And tagged him and then peter quayley himself actually liked the picture yes one of how many likes did he get like 20 no i think your picture got like 35 likes and he was one of them that's cool that's so cool i love when like celebrities do that mm -hmm. when they comment and like but you talked to him before right on instagram uh i comment something here and there yeah, yeah. so he's active you made it met in huh what <coughs> you met each other <laughs> you met each other in real life <laughs> uh, not because of the instagram oh my goodness no not in because dublin. of the, yeah in dublin bellator event, bellator event. MMA. you know what guys i can't even speak subhanallah it's late it's i don't even know what's wrong with me it's the end of the podcast now ha <laughs> ha no it's not anyways so it's our anniversary today and my baby got me a plant the best one it is so cute it looks so cute that i thought it was fake yeah it looks fake it looks really fake and it's so pretty i put a picture on instagram story oh yes what kind of plant is it is it cool it looks like those like movie plants that like eat you yeah, kind of. Yeah. It looks like it's a mouth. <laughs> Maybe at night. Ooh, don't say it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to freak me out. When I was a kid, I thought flesh-eating plants in quicksand would be a part of my everyday life. I still do that. Really? Yeah. I, I was so afraid of it. I thought of it all the time. You remember that quicksand video I showed you? Yes. They kept running on it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Idiots. Mm -hmm. Freaking idiots. I can't, I, I uh, wouldn't. All the comments were like, please stand still for five seconds. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. what happens. I just got anxiety looking at that because as a kid, that was like my biggest fear, quicksand. Hollywood and all ch children's movies made me believe that quicksand would just be a huge factor in my life. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I saw an episode of Baywatch. Yeah. And there was quicksand and the guy... <laughs> fell down <laughs> and they kept giving straw or something <laughs> pipe holes or just breathe i thought that was real what the hell have you seen it no but it probably i probably have yeah. i just don't remember right now but i just remember in everything there would always be quicksand and like meat eating flesh eating plants mm. and that's crazy Okay, so today, other than the fact that it's... Uh, why are you smiling like that? I was thinking about the movie. What movie? Uh, the Mummy. There's also Quicksand. <laughs> yeah. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> everything just... Uh, yeah. The whole play? The whole. Everything. The whole. The whole. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we just put out a funny... Why are you smiling again? No reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just always think you're thinking of something when you smile like that. Oh. He like gazes into nothing and just smiles. <laughs> I'm just like, what are you doing? So anyways, we put out a video today. Uh, my husband attempts. It's yesterday. We're going to post this on Spotify r right after this. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but if you're seeing this on youtube or listening to this on youtube yesterday we posted a video of my husband attempting to speak kurdish do you want to tell us something like is there something you remember from that video that i taught you say it to us right now Umar Hassani. okay thanks Karbala, kakarabala. No. thank you very much <laughs> shesh six is shesh shesh Chesh means like Kurdish food. Oh, so That's so. my mom commented on that. Remember? Did you hear? 
It's like he said chest a couple of times, and I loved it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Nah. No, but you did really good, actually. I'm really proud of you. And I put the video on Instagram and TikTok. So if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. It's and hilarious. Yeah, obviously. But like a little clip of it on TikTok and Instagram. But the whole video is out on YouTubes. Okay. So we have a couple of things on our chest that we need to get off. Okay. What? You brought something up to me the other day. And I said, no, no, no. This is too much. Don't tell me. Let's talk about it on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, Refresh my <laughs> anger. <laughs> okay, so it was Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2. Yeah. Y'all know about Baby Yoda? Yeah, it's about Baby Yoda. So, the Mandalorian fans around the world, they started the cancel culture, isn't it that? I hate the cancel culture. The cancel culture. About cancel the cancel culture. <laughs> about Baby Yoda having genocide because he's eating eggs. I mean, are people getting dumber or am I just insensitive? A dumber, for sure. Because You can't this be that sensitive about... A f- it's fictional. not real. Uh, fantasy. Yoda... The, first of all, it's another universe. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, it's made up. Yep. Third of all, Yoda, baby Yoda is a baby himself. Mm. And he is just a hungry baby Yoda. And then there was this other creature that had some eggs. And then baby Yoda started to eat them. And the internet loses their mind and wants to cancel baby Yoda. That's insane. I cannot believe my ears. I am just, I'm shocked and disappointed. I'm really disappointed. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, excuse me. So, I feel like nobody in a third world country would ever. (laughs) Never. We have it so good here in the West. One little pebble in our shoe will get our whole life to crumble because we have everything. So we are constantly looking for something to be upset about. Life is freaking good. Yeah. The problem is everyone has a voice. Everyone has a voice. The problem is... Yeah, but uh, everyone's opinion, the matter or something... How do you say it? Okay. Everyone's opinion. Everyone has a platform. A platform, yeah. Yeah. Share. Everyone has social media now. So, like, freaking eight-year-olds to hundred years old are on the internet and just talking smackity smack 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 about any and everything. And they find each other and start a cancel culture. Yeah. I got canceled a couple of times, to be honest with you. I'm not going to say why, because I don't want that to start over. <laughs> start over again? Yeah? yeah. But each time, like, I, it's for the sake of Allah, so I don't care. I would do it again if I had to. And I probably will go into those topics again pretty soon. But um, it didn't phase me. Because the people who canceled me anyway aren't my demographic. You know what I mean? Mm. For you example, don't appeal to them anyways, exactly. So. Ex Muslims came at me. I'm whatever. I'm just gonna say it. Ex Muslims. I made a video on YouTube and they came at me. Like they blasted my video on one of their live um, lives or whatever on their um, own channel. Someone streamed it. Um, someone streamed it and then over. yeah, and so many people came to my video. First of all, thanks for the money and the views and the thumbs down or whatever Mm. y'all y'all paid me so thank you for that um also y'all boosted my algorithm on my page so thank you for that yep and i wasn't about to give them any attention like literally my husband and i were deleting comments the whole time because not because of me but because people were saying things against islam that i couldn't bear like if there's one thing i have rita over like jealousy over it's the dean i cannot like i will 
just get so upset if I see someone say something about Allah or the Messenger وسلم, or something about Islam. I just absolutely, it, I can't take it. So we just deleted comments, deleted comments, and then I was like challenged to this debate. And I was like, don't debate me. Like, don't try and debate me. There was this like, dude. And I was like, don't try and debate me. Go to Brother Muhammad Hijab. You're finished. You're finished. Like, go to him. He will finish you, boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sounds wrong, but yeah, I get it. Baby, what is wrong with your mind? <laughs> well, it's <What>? your words. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it like that. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Anyway, boy, <laughs> listen, guys. So yeah, cancel culture needs to get canceled. This whole Baby Yoda thing really had me shook. And don't you dare say that these people were Mandalorian so-called fans. <laughs> no fan would ever. No. Freaking bloody hell, mate. Like, what the hell? I can't. Mm. And the second thing, let's just get the aggression out of the way. Because we also saved that conversation for the podcast. Okay. Right. About the coronavirus and has a new uh, blow up here in Oslo. Oh, yeah. And uh, the gyms, which r directly affects our lives. Let's yeah. keep it 100. Because literally my husband goes to the gym every day, if not every day. Yeah, every day, like minus one day a week, he would go to gym. And they closed all the gyms in Oslo, but every neighboring city was open. That's kind of silly. Why don't you talk about what happened next? Oh, sorry. Why don't you talk about what happened next? Just yesterday or? Yeah, just the whole thing. Just refresh uh, our feelings. Every gym store cancel my uh, closed in uh, Oslo so the neighbor cities were still open so what did he call it the the gym freaked me here the gym refugees yeah <laughs> the gym refugees lol <laughs> came to the other cities and they started closing now again yeah, and they sent my husband an email because he went to the same company but another gym yeah. in another city that's like one and a half hours away. Uh, around that, yeah. Yeah, you might as well go to San Lafayette at this point. Seriously, <laughs> literally, you might as well. They'll never close that one, I think. Mm. Anyways, so they sent him an email and said, hey, we've seen that you are using your membership in another city to go to another gym but we have registered that you live in this area so from now on everyone that doesn't live in that area can't go to that gym area restricted is this the hunger games it sounds like it yeah or is this real life you're from district five you can't go into <laughs> district two like what the hell is this and the worst part of all of this is that we're talking about some place called yes i'm Mm. Freaking Yesheim? It's like if Norway was America, Yesheim would be Detroit. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Let's say that. Let's say Oslo is Washington. I don't want to say New York because hell no. Let's say Washington. And then you have like Detroit City, which is Yesheim. Mm. Also, Drummond, I would say Detroit, but more so, yes, I'm right. Yeah. Anyways, it's a mix between everything. Yeah. It's really weird. It's just like this weird place where it's like just I don't even know. But anyway, so he can't go there anymore. So they're going. Him and his workout buddy are going even further, a two-hour drive, isn't it? No, it's actually shorter. Well. With a car. Yeah, okay, but what if you took the train? Ah, then it's longer, yeah. We took the train there one time. <laughs> it felt like a day trip. <laughs> freaking no, not three the, hours. No. Oh. Not the... Blah, blah, blah. What? With the so, car? Yeah. Vacation? Vacation, yeah. When we came back home. <laughs> Oof. <before> it, <laughs> we've been on the road for two weeks. I'm getting too old for that. Yeah. I cannot do that again. Let's do it again. Never. Never, never. Thank you. 
though for your offer sir but yeah seriously we uh we're gonna have to adapt again to this whole restriction because this is why the government isn't smart i'm not gonna say they're dumb or idiots i'm not gonna do that i'm not here to bash i just want to say they're not smart whoever's in charge because they didn't think that far ahead they literally just thought to their nose and not one inch further Mm. because they were like okay so everyone freaked out about corona was locked down and then and then we chilled oh summer's here let's do what we want let's open the bars and can i just say all the bars and clubs were open before the gyms yeah way before and that is the craziest thing i've ever heard because people when they go to the clubs and to the bars they're not standing one meter from each other they're breathing all up in each other and going home with each other and dancing with each other and all those things so Mm. the there's a way bigger chance of catching corona and god knows what else there was a case uh, it it closed last monday yeah so there was a huge case in the newspaper today about the place in oslo a pub really Uh, 117 quarantine oh because of the last day everyone wanted to go out this is so crazy and we literally went past this um we were at the mall and then we went there's like this alcohol shop and the line was all the way to the other side Mm -hmm. the drinking culture in norway is just out of out of pocket i don't know what to say like people literally are alcoholics everyone (laughs) <laughs> literally from their like 16 uh it's kind of sad it's crazy it's really sad and everyone's atheist anyway um i'm not gonna that's like we'll talk about all this stuff another time but yeah so those are the things that have been happening in our lives this past week mm-hmm. so i would say that's a pretty nice um sum up won't you yeah short and sweet is there anything else that happened yeah we've just been happy and amazing Mm. we had a couple of discussions we like have periods i feel like because we've been so happy and on like clouds for the longest and then you mentioned it and we started and then i mentioned it and then we we bickered like a couple of days Uh. and you were like do you have like pms or something (laughs) and i was like no but i just think it's because we've both been kind of sick no excuse me you had the highest fever yesterday i thought you were gonna die no okay that's fine no pain no gain okay fine (laughs) what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger tell that to me who is only in the house and you bring disease home to me that's because you don't get fresh air are you kidding me you're bringing the sick air to me i open the window i get fresh air (laughs) Anyway, so we've been I'm bickering. Go walk you more, I think. But it hasn't been like it's this is how like our fights lasts for 2 seconds. Like we say what we need to say cuz usually we're all like, "Oh, baby, you know, like that all the time and we love each other." And then those times where we do bicker, it's literally just bicker bicker and then it's fine 2 seconds later. It's it kind of fun too. Huh? It's kind of fun. It's exciting, you know. Yeah, Ew, daddy. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a little switch up in the in the day, a little excitement. Yep. No, it's not like it's not like you hurt my feelings, so I get like upset with you. But it's just like, um, for example, okay, let's just keep it real. I asked him to go to the store, and then he bought something that was not the exact thing that I wanted. And then I complained about it, and he got upset, and then I got upset, and then that was it, and we were done. And then afterwards, like, nothing, we just forgot about it. But those things, I feel like that's normal, baby. We should be happy that those are our fights, because people, like, have real problems. Yeah, sure. And we're just, like, disgustingly happy, so it's okay. We can fight over, like, we don't have milk. Why didn't you buy it? By the way, we don't have toilet paper. We have like one roll of toilet. Okay, let's talk Lo- about that. Lockdown. We need a new. <laughs> Lockdown. Yeah. 
Anyways, so you guys have been sending me some DMs, and I thought I should read a couple of them to give advice. Baby, stop taking my hand. I need it. So anyways, I'm going to find the DM. Baby, can you just talk to them because I need to find the DM, okay? Okay, about what? I don't know. Don't make me talk, honey. I'm busy. You see. Okay. What did you like about my last video? Please. They can't answer. <laughs> Please comment down below. <laughs> it's the best one. Oh, goodness. The first and second. Even the third. It's coming. Oh, it's coming out. Today? Yeah. Like 40 minutes, I think. Oh, cool. Okay. Now I'm going to read. It was a mini ad. Steph Fitness, Steph Champ. I'm proud of you, honey. I stand. Hi, I've been following you for a while on YouTube. I reverted to Islam about two years ago without really any knowledge, and my faith has been has dipped a lot over time. I feel so disheartened because I feel like I don't know as much as I should. I don't know where to start. I felt like the urge to really try and work harder at my deen. I want to learn to recite the Quran and read Arabic and learn as much as I can so I can finally introduce myself as a Muslim and not feel ashamed because I'm not good enough. I don't say Arabic phrase or anything because I feel like I'm saying it wrong or people are judging me because I don't don't look Muslim. I haven't had the confidence to adopt hijab and I even tried to wear it. I feel a lot of doubt like people can see my sins and I'm making a mockery. It sounds ridiculous but I just struggled so much. I feel like I don't belong to Islam because my lacking of knowledge my iman has been very low and I suffer from depression and I met someone who introduced me to Islam. I fell in love but he hurt me and we ended up ended our nikah uh, and we end up getting out nikah done I know that comes from Allah and I know that's what's best for me but it's still very difficult please sister where do I start what do I learn first when my iman dips I just lose track and I have to start over I want to be a good Muslim and I learn as much as I can at the time I reverted, I didn't think I did it for the right reason. So my first Ramadan came, something switched in me, and I felt so full at peace. Uh, it's amazing, I feel like. Okay, we get the gist. The rest is just a little bit more details about Ramadan and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, do you want to go f first? You can go first. No, 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 you go first. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. You go first. You go first. Okay, Daddy. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, rock, paper, scissors? Okay. okay. We say rock, paper, scissors, and then what we land on, say it out loud. Okay. But do it at the same time as your hand, so they know exactly. Like, rock, paper, scissors, stone. No, this is stone. <laughs> exactly. Rock. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Best out of one. Okay. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors stone. stone. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, scissors stone. rock. You said rock. But I, my I hand. Said, I said paper. But I, 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 ah. I, I, I my hand was doing scissors. Uh, yeah, yeah, Fine, yeah. I'll go first, yes. loser. Okay, okay, whatever. Okay, sister. Uh, first of all, that was kind of sad. Like, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Um, they canceled their nikah. Yeah, I sound it. I think so. Yeah. Okay. It 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 was a little the way it was yeah. written was I miss but I think that's what it said, and. I'm really upset at the fact that you think you're not a good enough Muslim and that you're making a mockery because you have sins. I think that's like the most, the saddest part about this DM because that's just simply not the truth. And the fact that she feels like this is like even bigger proof that it's not true, what she's feeling. Because if it truly was like that, she wouldn't feel those, you know, negative feelings around it or feel bad at all. Mm. So, first of all, gaining knowledge and all that, that's great. But don't put pressure on yourself to the point where because you can't read Arabic or say, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, stuff like that. As a Arab, 
just like an Arab, like you, it's okay because a lot of Muslims are not Arab. My husband says those words and he doesn't say it perfectly like an Arab, but he says it with his chest because he does it for the sake of Allah. And the more you struggle, the more reward you're going to get too, sis. Like, that's just amazing, isn't it? And I get happy when I hear you say those things or recite Quran when we pray mm -hmm. because you do struggle a little bit still with the pronunciation. And that's yeah, so. Some, some are pretty hard. Eh? Yeah, and that's amazing. It's like those letters that you're not used to, like ha, ha, ta. Yeah, like Kurdish too. It's exactly. new to me, so yeah. it's hard. It, yeah, and you're doing well because you're you're still trying, and that's the whole point. Just try and take one step at a time. Because if you're going to eat an elephant, do you know how to eat an elephant? Swallow it whole. Baby, seriously. No. I'll tell you. Okay. You take one bite at a time. Oh. Don't look at the whole elephant as a whole and think, I'm going to have to eat that whole thing. You eat one bite at a time and enjoy the journey. It's not a destination. Iman is not a destination. It's a journey that's beautiful and you have to allow yourself. And for, okay, let me just, <laughs> sis, you have to forgive yourself. And you have to understand that Allah has forgiven you. Because the fact that you feel bad, most likely, I believe you've made tawbah. If not, do it right now. And do istighfar. Allah has forgiven you. Don't doubt in Allah's mercy. And don't let what other Muslims think dictate who you are. Start with one thing at a time. And if you need more like talks, hit me up inshallah and we'll, you know, talk about it. But just, yo, stop stressing because you're only hurting yourself. And whatever with this guy didn't work out, alhamdulillah. Inshallah, Allah has better in store for you. You deserve the best. You're a queen. Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> Remember that. Do you have anything to say? No. It's good. Just it's keep your head up and... Yeah. Don't put pressure on yourself. Take baby steps. It takes as long as you need to. So, don't rush. Exactly. I have a couple of other DMs as well. Do that you want to talk about uh, TikTok video too? What TikTok video? <gasps> it's kind of the same. I literally cried today over a video I saw. And I will never forgive any of the people who contributed to the sister taking off her hijab and dancing in a bra and tights a revert on uh, tiktok had a um, if i say this probably everyone's gonna know had a service dog and she's like a white revert so and she was like wearing hijab she was doing like tiktok dances or whatever as well and all of her comment section were freaking horrible, mean Muslims acting like Allah left them in charge, speaking on behalf of Allah. But the way they did it was disgusting. This is not no nasiha. This was just straight up disgust. And I saw that and I didn't agree with her videos. So what I did when I saw her a couple of times on my For You page, I blocked her. Because I didn't want to have bad thoughts about the sister. Mm. I made dua for her and I blocked her like very, very early on. Because it hurt me to see what she was doing. And I, I didn't know what else to do for my own good. So that I don't get any sins thinking badly about my fellow sister. And I just made dua for her and you know like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And today... I recognize her because of the username and what they said about her. Like she had a service dog and whatnot. Y'all bullied the sister out of her hijab. She took her hijab off and is now in a bra and tights dancing. 
Are y'all happy now? That's kind of sad. It broke my freaking heart. Like, I was literally in tears. I was like, no, like, I cannot believe. And. You should welcome everyone, not push them away. Yeah, but, like, just, you should. TikTok is so toxic. I feel like there has never been created a platform like this before. People get on there and just say the worst things to other human beings and i just i can't believe my eyes and especially our umma is so freaking lost bro like we i don't even know what to say like i usually don't talk about these things and i keep them inside of my heart and then i pray about it and i cry about it and i just hate the fact that i'm even talking about it now but because for the first time I said this to my husband today, like, I usually, I peep stuff like that, and I just keep it to myself, but today, like, I had to tell my husband, I was like, yo, I saw this today, and, like, I'm literally so upset, and everyone who bullied her out of her hijab, you're gonna get that sin, bullied at, so, if you ever said something to the sister or about her negatively, uh, repent to Allah today and seek forgiveness. Ask that sister to forgive you as well. Inshallah. I'm so done with those like behaviors. It's the worst. It's kind of like the cancel culture. Only it's worse because yeah. they're supposed to be your brothers and sisters in Islam. Mm. They're supposed to love you. They're supposed to... <sighs> My guy, please. <laughs> Moving on. I can't. Okay. Okay. All right, we have another one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm Algerian and I live in Alger. I'm a Muslim and a student, 21 years old. In the beginning of the rest of the lockdown, I was at home trying to meet people to make friends all over the world. Then the 27th of March, I met him, Hart. On a language app, he's Russian, also 21 and christian so we began to be friends he was a little interested in islam so i was helping him with the information i even showed him an app for the quran and the same time we started to have feelings for each other then after months now he's like 100 percent convinced and he really wants to take his shahada alhamdulillah he's always reading about the, uh, islam and the prophet وسلم, and we love each other so much and we're planning our life together, inshallah. Just one thing that I don't understand about him is that it's been a month and a half and we've talked. And it's better that he goes to the masjid for learning. And he said, yes, he likes the idea, but he didn't go to the mosque. I know, alhamdulillah, we have a great faith and always learn more. I don't know why he's lazy to go to the mosque. He could be scared. I don't know. He'll... Hello, Sheikh. Sorry for telling you my story. Okay, okay, okay. I think you should say something on this one. Yeah. <coughs> Anything in particular? Um. Does it hit home for you? Uh, kind of. Because someone kinda in this house uh, really has a problem with going to the mosque for some reason. It's because you have a bad experience with my mosque that we used to go to. Uh, kinda, maybe that's why. Yeah, we. What is this freaking? We don't go there anymore. We need to find a new masjid here in Oslo. But what's your? Say what's on your mind, honey. Don't be shy. This is a safe, safe place. <laughs> it's kind of. It's. Uh, it's kind of scary. Intimidating. Uh, intimidating, yeah. But don't you feel like you've been loved when you've been there? Yeah. They every, love reverts. Every time. Every time. Every time. But it's still the. Like the first time, yeah. You enter and that's it's like, oh, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Why <laughs> do you feel that way? I don't know. It's just a, it's just a feeling I have. You kind of need to just claim it because here's how I see it. Everything is new. It's uh, like everything is new. Yeah. That's why. But if you think of it this way, honey, Allah doesn't. You don't go into Allah's house unless Allah wills you to. So when you're there, you belong there. Yeah, I know. It's the house of Allah. You're his slave. Like, you're there for him. Yeah, I know. So I, f I could feel however I want to feel about the mosque and the people there. But in the prayer room, that's like something else. That's for 
no one else but Allah, you know. Mm. And like you said, every time I've been there, I've been, I feel loved, appreciated, everyone is happy. Yeah. So it's no problem. Everyone's like, yeah, revert. Yes. It's so crazy, subhanAllah. <laughs> subhanAllah. It's it's amazing yeah. though. It's yeah. it's great. It is really great. It's yeah, people m- must be nice to be a me. white man in the mosque. Most of the mosque. Are you Muslim? Yeah. And when I say yes, but oh, oh, oh. And when they see you pray. I saw like that one time yeah. when you were praying by yourself and I was like peeping you from the woman section. Mm. And then these brothers were like, Oh look at him, it's pray. Mm. Very cool. And that's probably cool for them too. Yeah. So that's just a feeling I have. Maybe this guy has the same. Yeah. What what are your advices to yourself and him? Just go and <laughs> Yeah. Be open minded. It's not scary, it's just intimidating at first. You're gonna make me cry, baby. Don't be <laughs> can't say it, but yeah, uh, okay. I love you. Stop. You're stupid. Anyways. Do you have anything for him? Or her? No, I think to what you said. I think he needs to take a shot at ASAP if he truly is a Muslim. I don't know if he said it or not. But if he truly b- believes in Allah, like, say less. What more is there to know? You believe in Allah. You believe in the Prophet. Sallallahu what more is there? You know, just say your shahada. Get it over with and start seeking knowledge one step at a time. And it can be intimidating to go to the mosque by yourself. I started to go by myself in the beginning and it was intimidating, but I was just like, Allah wants me to be here or else I wouldn't be here. So, Mm. and the girls, I wasn't welcomed by the young girls at the masjid. To this day, they snub me and I was a huge part of the masjid in Mm. every event and everything for the longest time for like a year. People are different. But I still went there because this is the house of Allah, not any snarky people. It's not for gossip. It's not for gossip. It's to worship Allah and it's to do good deeds. So that's why you're going to go there. And don't worry. People will love him like he's a revert. People will love him. Mm. I remember the first time I went there. Um, they literally the like... Prayer times. Yeah. I, I came in and I'm like, oh... <laughs> That's why when I was doing my shahada. Yeah. Came right in prayer time. Yeah. It was literally, I think it was Maghrib or something. Mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. No, I said, I said, it was November, so it was dark. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I don't have anything else to say. I think you said it perfectly. Gracias. So there is, okay, we did that one. Good luck to them. Good Algeria. luck to you. Yeah, may Allah make it easy French, for you guys. Right? Hmm? They speak French? Yeah. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Omelette de fromage. Do you know where that is from? No, Mr. Bean? No. What is Omelette it? Omelette de fromage. What is it? Dexter. Cartoon Network. <sighs> That's a boy's show. I never watched it. What? But I was part of Girls. Okay, well, that says Some more about that. you than me. Yeah, pa- cool. Powerpuff of girl, uh, Girls uh, girls, <laughs> is cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yo, 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 hello. Yeah. Okay, there's a last one. Last DM of the day. Okay. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. Oh. Hi, Shekha. So a guy approached me. He approached me three weeks ago saying he'd like to get to know me for marriage and he's willing to speak to my wali. And off the bat, I was very impressed. But we got to know each other a bit and my wali was in Kenya and he's now back. He's practicing and leads a very halal life from what I've gathered. But are from different cultural backgrounds. I'm Somali and he's Gambian. Gambino gang gang. I'm saying that because I have Gambian family, so I feel like I'm part Gambian as well. 
Anywho, he showed me a photo of himself after we'd spoke for a couple of hours. Initially, I didn't find him physically attractive, but for some reason I kept thinking about if I had rejected him just the other day, I came across his profile not knowing it was him. I swiped right on him and he was honest and told me it was him from the jump and he sent a photo to confirm. I am a lot more open-minded because he wasn't even bad looking initially. I was just being really nitpicky. <laughs> now that I've waffled, I need advice on how to go about the next steps. Sp uh, speaking to my stepdad, my mom, marriage hopefully, um, marriage meeting hopefully, inshallah. Mm -hmm. I loved this message. Yeah, that's, that's a happy one. Yeah, and I'm happy, like I'm excited for her. And she seems like a really sweet girl. Girl, listen. First of all, I mean, you'll get to be nitpicky when it comes to your spouse. I'm sorry, but you can, whatever you want is what you should have. But I also feel like there's a meaning with those things that you just like came across him again. So if you haven't prayed istikhara yet, pray istikhara right now. And see how you feel. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything? No. Just a good luck. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, may Allah make it easy for you too. I feel like this is going to be a really cute story, inshallah. And keep us posted. And just take it easy. The next steps would be obviously, you know, him talking to your wedding. And then you guys making the nikah as soon as possible. Make it halal. And yeah. On that note, we'll end it. Make it halal. Make it hello. Okay guys, so we that's all for now. We'll see you next week, inshallah. Let us know what you thought about this podcast. It was a lot of waffling and ranting, but that's been the life this week. Yeah. We've had an aggressive week. <laughs> yeah, kinda <laughs> lockdowns everywhere and lockdown. Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, oh my god! No! <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> I have We have to get this podcast out. It's almost midnight. Yeah. Alright guys, love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Inshallah, you want to tune in next week as well. Um, if you're hearing this right now, I love you. Assalamu alaikum. Shout out to Steph Fitness and Steph Champ on Instagram. Okay, you're going to have to pay me soon if you want to do ads, seriously. <laughs> I am the ad. Okay, bye. Bye, senoritas. Bye. So remember to check out our description box for the links of our Patreon and how to join our family. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching and that was all we had for now. Let us know what more content you guys want down in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.